Listen, we have to start focusing on not getting cancer and living a healthy lifestyle versus thinking we can get it and we'll be all right because chemotherapy and radiation is there to save us because it's not. Pay attention, all right? I'm gonna put a lot of studies, we're gonna get right into it so you can understand that chemotherapy is not saving people. It's actually killing people and it's causing you to live a little longer even though most people still die within five years and if you do survive you're surviving with tons of toxicity in the body you're surviving you're surviving with more health issues more more illnesses more problems for your family you're gonna have other issues down the line you're gonna end up getting cancer again they're gonna want to put you through radiation and chemo all over again so you have to pay attention and listen if y'all ready to get into these studies stop what you're doing click that thumbs up let's get this video to at least 50 likes click that subscribe and go ahead and comment Free game, because I'm about to give y'all a lot of free game and put some studies on the screen. Here goes one study, all right? They found 27% of cases causes death from chemotherapy. Let's keep it moving. We can do this all day, every day. And that's the low numbers, and I'm gonna show you why. That's actually the low numbers. Pay attention. They did an investigation, found out that there was more than 600 deaths in a 30 day period. Let's keep going. This is just one study. So imagine if they did studies all over the world in every state, every city, every hospital, every place administering chemotherapy, 600 deaths from one study in a 30 day period. Imagine how many people are dying from chemotherapy when they're making you believe that this is keeping you alive and they do it. They don't teach you how to eat right. They tell you, oh, trust me, I have people to come to me. I had a lady come to me. Her mom's getting chemotherapy. The doctor told her, she asked, should, should my mom change her diet? They said, oh no, it's fine. She's gonna go through chemotherapy. She's good, she doesn't need to worry about that. We're gonna get it all out of her system. When they do chemotherapy, they're frying the good cells, the bad cells, crossing their fingers, because they don't know exactly what's going on in the body. So they just fry everything and hope that they get the cancer out. But they don't teach you how to keep it from coming back. They don't teach you what caused it in the first place. You go back to it, that's why most people get cancer, get it again. Let's keep going. And in that same study, as you see, they found that in 43, percent of cases that those people who received chemotherapy afterwards they found they had extreme toxicity in their body even though they gave them other treatments to counteract what the chemotherapy did to their body so they already knew the chemotherapy was causing damages to the body that's why they have other treatments set up in place to counteract that from happening but they found that doesn't change anything still in almost half and again these studies are always skewed almost half that changed nothing. There still was a significant amount of toxicity from the chemotherapy because it's putting toxins in your body and also weakening your immune system by damaging your good cells. Again, a significant amount of clinical trials report late toxicities and reports deaths and worse illnesses. Come on now, somebody comment, free game, pay attention. I hope you're listening. Keep it going. As it also says, one in four patients, one in four die from the actual treatment and not actually from the cancer. Because what you do is you get cancer, there's a possibility, you could get over it naturally, possibility, if you know if you know who to listen to, right? If you know who to listen to, maybe somebody who's already posted cancer testimonial, maybe, right? All they did was get the bundle too, crazy, $50, right? Links in the bio and in the description. So, you get the cancer, when you could have got rid of it naturally, you go to them, then you die from the treatment when you could have got over it. Crazy. But guess what? They still made a lot of money off of putting you through chemotherapy. That's wild. 19% of people in that same study, they realized they shouldn't have been receiving chemotherapy in the first place. But guess what? We already know. Medical malpractice, the third leading cause of death in America. So therefore, they diagnose you with the wrong thing. They give you a treatment that you didn't need in the first place. That's why it's the third leading cause of death. So here we go again, they say 19%. How could it be only 19% when it's the third leading cause of death in the world? Let's raise them numbers up. Let's keep going. Y'all don't be reading, I'll be reading. That's the difference, that's it. Here we go again. Patients who receive chemo to improve their health actually end up dying, all right? And then we move along. The patients who do survive actually have a worse quality of life than they did if they just kept the cancer and said, I'll stick with this versus getting this chemo and making my life worse, making my health issues worse, giving me other health issues, putting toxins in my body, frying my good cells, weakening my immune system, which is gonna cause other diseases down the line. Are y'all following me? I hope so. And as you also see, more than 
of clinical trials, they found that they have poor reporting, which means they're not actually documenting the adverse events and telling you exactly what's going on and how many people are actually having bad reactions, how many people are actually dying, how many people are actually having a way worse quality of life. So all of these numbers that I'm telling you, all these studies, now here's a study showing you the proof that those numbers are skewed and it actually should be way more and way higher. But if you knew that, people wouldn't be getting chemo and chemo would be getting more lawsuits and chemo would maybe even be illegal, but maybe not because they make billions off of it per year. In conclusion, hope y'all understand that you might want to listen to the crazy guy that be reading because you know i always come with the statistics i come with the studies i show you the clinical trials i show you them i show you them they tell you this stuff but people don't listen i'm just crazy so i need y'all to comment free game i need y'all to comment pay attention i need y'all to click that thumbs up if you want me to do more videos like this breaking down showing you screenshots of these studies that i'll be reading of the documents where these people y'all look up to the universities the whatever are literally doing the research putting it there but they know you ain't gonna read page through page they know you ain't got time because they got you stuck in a nine to five trap so that you can't even focus on the stuff you should be focusing on so you can't focus on health so you can be stressed so you can't eat the food that you want because you're poorly paid right and the stress from the job because you know you're not compensated how you should be for the work that you put in so it's a whole little circle to mess you up i'm here to get you out of it, to change your mindset, at least spark your mind. Again, if you want more videos like this, comment, comment, flood the comment section, show the YouTube algorithm. I'm here, this is where I wanna take most of my content, but I need to know that y'all supporting. So I need those thumbs up, I need those comments. I need y'all to pay attention. But remember, do what you gotta do, do what you gotta do, cause it's that simple. And as always, you know, I don't believe in if, try, can't, almost, or maybe, I get it done. No excuses, nothing to it, but to do it, point your finger in the mirror if you blew it. Point your finger, take accountability if you're not reading, if you're not taking the change, if you're not being more active, if you're not walking on the beach, if you're not walking around your neighborhood, if you're not working out, if you continue to stop at McDonald's every day after work, if you continue to stop at Burger King for your kids, take accountability. When your kid turns 30, 40, hopefully not, and they get an illness, and now you're old and you're like, I can't believe my 30-year-old son has cancer. I can't believe this. How's he got more health issues than me? Take accountability for what you fed them. Let's keep it real. I'll let y'all later. Peace.